welcome to Table Talk, the show where we take your topics and put them in our bowl by using the hashtag Table Talk, or you can go to reddit.com Are you wearing an undershirt? <laughs> oh, I thought you were wearing like a plain undershirt. Is that not appropriate now? Will I look like a loser? No. If I just wore a white shirt under my clothes? What if I had another shirt on under here? You know what makes you a loser is when you're wearing a shirt with a pocket under a shirt with a pocket. Oh! Guys, if you want to submit a topic, use the hashtag Table Talk on, <laughs> on the Twitters, or you can go to reddit.com slash r slash sourcefit. I'm Steve Zaragoza, that's William Haynes, Bree Esrick. Let's get started, shall we? I don't want these on my fingers. Why? They hurt. It does no. hurt. It's taking the goddamn circulation out of my fingers. No. We commit to bits here at SourceFeed. Source I'm not, feed. I'm not taking this off of the rest of You sound of my like life. every reporter ever yeah. that has oh, so ever talked to us. You work for source feed, correct? <laughs> no, sir, you didn't read the entire word. Sir, you didn't read your email where you were confirmed to have an interview with us <laughs> that said source fed. Clearly you don't care because we're all children over here. I'm gonna pull one. Is that okay? So what if I'm like with a girl? Well I'm like with a girl and it's getting real good and she's like, mm, we'll go down on me. Alright. Let me just find out where this is. It's real dark in here. Oh, and you were using that as yeah. a light to was, check it out. And I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm like, all right. It'd be funnier if you used your phone, your phone light. Yeah. Well, that might have happened to me in my life as a joke once, but I didn't need to talk about that on Table Talk. Okay. <laughs> uh, this this Give me that, that is a real joke I did. I didn't tell you about that? I think you did tell yeah. me about that. <laughs> this topic comes from Baby Shoes Kicks. Does this one just have a hole in it? I tried blowing this baby up twice. What would your last meal be if you were on death row? I've thought about that many times. Yeah? I know exactly what it is. Pie, right? Pie? Ooh, here it is. It's a full meal. You get a full meal. I, I don't know if there's a budget, if there's like a $30 budget, but this is gonna cost $25.17. Just kidding. No, there's no budget. There's no budget? No. I'm, I don't know. There's don't no know budget. All right, so I want 10 lobsters and- That's uh, what people order. They just, a lot of people order lobster. 10 lobsters, a keto myself, and- uh, The Femme Nikita. <laughs> what I would like is a bacon cheeseburger. I don't care where it's from. Give me the cheapest place. It's still good. Bacon cheeseburger from anywhere is fine. I don't know if you eat that Even anymore. like Wendy's? Definitely from Wendy's. Really? Wendy's is great. What I've never Burger eaten King? at Wendy's and been disappointed. They don't have that. Yes, they do, actually. It is it's not as good. called the BK. Isn't it called the Burger King Western I something? I like it, but do you ever notice? I Rodeo. Just, Rodeo Burger. That's what it's called. I just noticed Burger Kings are always in the worst places. There is no such thing as a, oh, this Burger King's nice. No. There's never anyone inside a Burger King. It's always in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And their food is okay. Yeah. If you're a trucker, you're like, oh, I can't wait to get the Burger King. You know King. what's weird though? <laughs> Burger King is the only fast food place that flame broils their stuff. Interesting. Everyone else puts stuff on like a pan or like a, they're a grill. Also, yeah, they're also the only uh, fast food place that has a veggie burger. Yeah, that's true. No one else has a veggie burger? No. Oh, yeah, you want You're to right vegetarian. about that. Yeah. yeah, why doesn't McDonald's have a veggie burger? What's going on, McDonald's? I was in my shoe. Uh, but yeah, I like it. So it would be a, a bacon cheeseburger, uh, a root beer with aged vanilla, because that's the kind I like, uh, <laughs> preferably Ooh. AMW. And then finally, a slice of cheesecake what in the key to my cell. Plain cheesecake. And the key to your cell? Yeah, if I'm in jail, you know, may I can escape. Ooh. You know what I would do? I would do endless salad and breadsticks from Olive Garden. Endless! Yeah, endless! That way you're just eating and you don't die. Because you're eating. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you don't want to live in jail. Most of them are like, oh, I can't wait till I get the chair. Like, please. Is that true? Yeah, I, I, I bet there's some jails that are pretty cool though. Actually, you're right. There, is, there actually are high class jails for, for richer people. Like, but regular jail, regular right around right, 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 jail. We call it Martha Stewart jail. Martha Stewart jail. Oh yeah, celebrity great. jail. Celebrity jail. I've got a question for you guys. Okay. Why doesn't a game about going to jail exist? Breaking out of about jail? About surviving in jail. Brett? Uh, I'm not talking about like some future. Well, I mean, what game? kind of gameplay no, is that? I'm talking about like a Grand Theft Auto type oh, game where you're yeah. in prison. One of the one of the levels is okay. You got the soap. Don't drop it. Press square to not drop the soap. <laughs> yeah, something like that. You drop the soap. Yeah, and it's like you. So it's like you start off. You know, it's got to have a good story. You you wake up in jail. You're framed for something. You shouldn't be there. 
but you gotta choose like a gang to join. Mm-hmm. You gotta find whose bitch you're gonna be. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be careful with whose you bitch. You just might realize be. when you go to jail, some people are like, all right, I gotta act hard. No, I gotta find somebody's bitch to be. Yeah, I'm his bitch. Don't fuck with me. Oh yeah, he'll mess you up. You gotta make yourself look real pretty and cute, because mm-hmm. yeah. you're gonna be the biggest guy's bitch, and you're gonna be protected. Because no one's gonna believe me. No one's gonna be like like scared of this. No one's gonna be like. No, no. I can knock over a chair for you. No, you would be killed in jail. So would I. I would not survive in jail. But like in this. Can we pretend I'm your bitch? We could. That's true. Well, but then, but then, what if someone falls in love with you, and they're gonna be like, "I want your bitch." I'm dead, dude. You gotta fight for me. I'm not gonna fight for you. You're not gonna fight for me in prison. Why would I've you been not your bitch fight? for six months? I guess we're gonna die anyway. Sure, I'll fight for you. Yeah, we're I'll gonna fight die anyway. You, if we, if we could, us two could beat up any one dude, right? No, any three dudes can, any three people can beat up any one. This person. is what we would do. Okay. We'd use our. I'd be like, all right, well, let's use our power of humor okay. to get out of all these situations. Okay, we'd go over there and be like, hey, why the chicken cross the road? Chicken, 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 chicken. Chick, 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 chick. Oh shit! I got some good jokes. I don't know. We gotta do hate cop jokes, man. Don't y'all hate? Cop Cops. Oh, I hate him. Shank, 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 shank. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this prison simulator game would be like you gotta join a gang, you gotta like work, so you're either gonna make like license plates or you're gonna go out in the fields and like or like a, the 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 big courtyard and you're gonna do like yard work type stuff. And then there's this like this, sounds horrible. No way, because then you have to pre- you Back have to, me up. There's all sorts of people trying to kill you. So you gotta like take care of that, and you gotta negotiate to get the best like situation in the prison. You gotta get cigarettes, you gotta find a way to sneak in outside stuff, and you're innocent. So the whole time you're trying to solve your case while in jail. You didn't start breaking the law till you got in jail. Can, if you're really good at this game, can you be the guy that's in the shower waiting for them to drop the soap? Is that like the yeah, last you can level? even you can even like if it's it's so Grand Theft Auto style that you can even work your way up to being like the king of the jail. Like you even run the cops and shit. Like wow. you're in there, you're so powerful, you're like an Al Capone type person. Wow, what are the kind of cheat codes you get in this game? All sorts of cheat codes. Can you get like free stuff sent in? Yeah. Like snuck in? I was thinking about that. What? I was thinking about that the other day. They were talking about uh, you get drugs, but the, the, yeah. they, they get drugs in jail. They smuggle them in. What do you, what kind? Anything, heroin. In jail? Anything you want, they can smuggle it in. I don't think it's that fun. I don't think it'll be that fun. Like, oh, I'm so high in my square. Actually, you know, I'm not that What fun. else are you going to do? It's better I mean, than if I were in jail, I mean, I would be tasty. I'd have to find my pussy, my BFF. Yeah, you'd have to we be like orange is the new, new I would have to get my shit. crazy eyes, someone to throw pie for me. But then I would need my lesbian relationship. I would need my Alex spouse for sure. If you... I've got this all figured is out. Is that the girl I'm from gonna be, that 70s show? Yeah. I'm going to be pipe. I'm a piper. I'm definitely a piper. I really wish I'd seen this program on Netflix. I don't remember it's enough of it. It's not too late. It, it will never be too late. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Thanks, Forever. Thanks because our, our this people who are alive right now and control the media want everything to be available forever. You could go on the internet and see anything you've ever seen. Remember I said I saw I watched that David the Gnome last episode. You yeah, see we were anything. talking about it and that's really what obscure. That? You found it. Something David that I Gnome should was know David about. David the Gnome? Yeah. That was, sounds amazing. It was an old cartoon. It was really Is cool. It good? Yeah. It's about some gnomes and a fox. Hold on, listen. I will say this, though. It's not your Adventure Time SpongeBob SquarePants type shit where it's, like, super hyper cuts and, like, it's all entertaining the entire time. There's not, like, super shit going on in your face the whole time. It's actually, like, dramatic Bree, you've seen SpongeBob before, right? I grew up on that shit. Okay. Tell me, tell me, Steve... Tell Steve he would like actually like. SpongeBob. No, I think I know. I think I know I'd like it. I he think you'd like, like it. SpongeBob. But here's what happened. It was there was a combination of things it that really happened. Fucked me up though. It, it's the reason why I'm like crazy. Yeah, it's the reason why kids have no attention span because yeah. they make these little 15 minute episodes where they, it's enough time for them to go. Well, they actually did a study that said the frequency of cuts affects children too. Like it's like you're cutting away from things, so it's like their developmental. Yeah, we don't make eye contact are... anymore. We're waiting for it to. We jump between everything. But you were saying, what's what's your? Well, what I was gonna say. Some this... of us make way too much eye contact with people. I don't think I make enough. I, I feel like I'm always looking away from people. I'm not strong enough. I feel like I'm always just like. I'm better at making eye contact now than I was before. I think. What happened? I'm always just like. <laughs> <laughs> but would you alien? How come I don't get one of these you guys? Want... Get you can one. have one. You can have a little bit. You can have this gross baby. What's wrong with these guys? You oh, think? God. Imagine if you had a baby that came out like this. <laughs> it came right out of your wife. You'd be like, oh, start over. Would you not? <laughs> Would you take that home? Would you be like, hey, I mean, if it's alive, you, you have to. Would you take that to Would you take that to your mom? Uh, you have to. That's your kid, man. This little purple child? <laughs> He's bald, too? 
Think of the money you can make off that thing. Think of the money you can make off that thing. If you're some yeah. kind of freak, you could take it on the road. You take him to the carnival. Everybody see my gross ass baby. Yeah, here, look at this shit I made. This is the best thing I ever did with my life. Look, he does fun stuff. <laughs> Were you gonna say something? Oh yeah, about SpongeBob. Oh yeah, well I was gonna say the okay, reason so why. Okay, topic. Well, there it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I really want to know what you had to say about SpongeBob. What's your issue with SpongeBob? I always yeah, like right, to know. Go ahead and say it. I actually can't remember. You were gonna say a lot of things happened. I felt like you were gonna talk about Rocco's Modern Life. Well, I love Rocco's Modern Life. That's a good show. But like right after that. What's is the difference SpongeBob. between? Well, I guess SpongeBob has more like. Comedy in it. It's like more. Oh, there like are Rocco? no stories anymore. Than Rocco. Yeah. Rocco was really smart. I remember. Rocco was smart. But yeah. maybe I was just stupid. I think the issue was with, with a lot of the cartoons from that generation, like SpongeBob and stuff. There weren't real stories because, like I said, there's only 12 minutes worth of the time. So like, it'd be like, uh, SpongeBob is afraid of the hash bringing slash bringing slasher. That gets solved very fast. Yeah. And yeah. it turns out he wasn't even afraid of the hash bringing slash bringing. And then Nosferatu is there. If you've seen that episode, you know what I'm saying. Oh, you showed me that. It cut to an actual clip of Nosferatu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Look, I my biggest problem with SpongeBob was is that I loved Ren and Stimpy so much, oh. and I felt like SpongeBob was a blatant ripoff of Ren and Stimpy, and I felt like it. I felt like my my. Oh yeah, because Ren and Stimpy has a sponge and a starfish. No, because it was so gross squid. out. Because it was like very gross out, and they would even do those like super close up like cell paintings of like things that look very detailed and gross. And gross. That's true. They like, did do that first. Yeah, huh? Ren and Stimpy same, rocked that shit out. It was on Nickelodeon, wasn't it? It was Nickelodeon. Ren yeah. So it was the same thing. It could have been similar animators. Definitely wasn't the same animators though. It might have no? been like some crew-ish people or people that did like grunt work or whatever, but definitely not the same creators. I see. But I will say, it bummed me out because I love Ren and Stimpy so much and I figured why in this world of Spongebob can't Ren and Stimpy excel and be good and still continue on? Oh yeah, Spongebob. people were done with Ren and Stimpy. Spongebob they, was the biggest thing. Yeah. When I was a kid in like middle school, like it was the biggest thing. So, and then add to on top of that that I started working at Hot Topic and they oh. sell a bunch of Spongebob Squarepants shit there and so I was stocking square, Squarepants garbage all day and all the fucking kids would come in looking for their Spongebob shit. It well, is impossible. It is impossible. Just on top of the fact, yeah. Walking into Hot Topic is like walking into a nightmare for me. It's everything that people like and love, and I mean a, a and lot of stuff makes I like. You sad. It's just like, oh god, you it's didn't like watch this. By the it's way, it's just this is because oh. a lot of it is like toys and things. I don't like owning that. Even though I found out, you know those those collectibles that I, that I always say that are kind of dumb, like the, the like the big headed thing. Yeah, the uh, the the um, pop figures. The pop figures. The vinyl pop. They're actually coming out with a Conan one, a couple Conan ones, and I That's want one. That's cool. I did see those for Comic Con, right? If only I didn't let myself. If only I let myself have toys, I would get one. You could get a Conan one for your desk. Oh, yeah. That's like an inspiration. Oh, that's true. Close. I could use it in that way. All right, this one says, if you were a Disney princess, what animal would your sidekick be and what would you name it? Example, Ariel and Flounder. They have sidekicks. The I mean, sort of. Yeah. yeah. I guess Snow White had a bunch of them. Cinderella had the mice. Yeah. Yeah. Gus, Gus. Pocahontas had, like, the fucking hummingbird. The and raccoon. The Miko. The raccoon. Yeah. I yeah. love Miko. Hmm. If I was a Disney princess, what would be my animal? I realized today I like hippopotamuses. Hippos you know, are cool. those are like the deadliest animals. Hell they're very yeah. dangerous, mm -hmm. yeah. I think more they people kill die people. from hippos than like crocodiles Sharks. or something. Than everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, I mean, if anybody, anybody who sees a hippo and is like, oh, let me go hug it, you stupid. <laughs> you stupid. Yeah. Why would you go do that? There's no reason to ever approach a hippo, ever. But you I would want to have man. one. People are, people are very, Stupid. Like people, like they, like most people, like when you go to like, I went to Yellowstone like years and years and years ago, and it's very clear that there are wild animals everywhere, and it's it's very obvious. Why did you go to Yellowstone? Because it's amazing. What's Yellowstone? It's amazing. Is that like the uh, a national park? Yeah, it's like it's it's like it's what they say. It's you like, went outside. Yeah, I know. Believe that. Yellowstone is amazing. You gotta see it someday. It's got like. Uh, uh, I get it. There's a Yellowstone. Is there really? That's all there is. Just I don't one have to yellow go is there, there even a Yellowstone? No. I don't well, know why it's called that. What's the other park that's like in between here in the Bay Area that people Talk go about to? Lake Tahoe? No, it's in Yosemite? California. Yosemite? Yosemite. That's I've where been there. Mia was from. Yeah. Is there she, anything is cool? She, she's from the woods? She's from Yosemite, yeah. She's from the jungle. There's wood. nothing there but woods. She was a mountain woman. Or is there jungle in America? No. No. Why don't we get jungle? You know how much cooler we be? Our climate it's doesn't. Not, yeah, it's not. Not moist enough here. No. Not humid. No. We can't get jungle. What do we have? Maybe we have Arkansas. Forests? We could. We gotta have one jungle in America. America's so big. It's one of the biggest countries. You got Russia. Is there jungle in Russia? I don't know. No. Where is there jungle? 
Like Africa? Africa. We're wetter than them. Amazon. The Amazon? The Amazon. Okay, like Ecuador. Okay, when you go down there, yeah. I want to be in a jungle. There's jungles in Mexico. You know what? Now that I think about it, I think jungles are cool. I would never go in a jungle. No. Why? No, why no. would you? Who's in the jungle? Uh, cheetahs and panthers and things and that And wild animals you. that will murder you. It'd be cool to and see. And giant that. spiders that from one bite, your whole body shrivels up into a fucking... Into this thing. Into this it. thing? I turn into my baby so we can match. Yeah. Your baby. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> oh, no, I shouldn't have smoked cigarettes. That's dark. So here's <laughs> what I was going to say. In Yellowstone, they have bison that are just like hanging out on the side of the road. Bison are cool. And bison are awesome. And like you drive through the middle of Yellowstone and there's all these fucking bison on the side of the road and it's cool to see them. What the fuck is happening? There you go, there's your bison. While well, you were mentioning bison. You know you could leave that on the side of the road and be like, bison. I had never. Uh, you're in trouble now. You're in trouble now. <laughs> Am I not in trouble anymore? You're not in trouble anymore for what happened before the episode. All right, so. so what happened to the bison? Yeah. So the bison are hanging out outside of your car, and it's like, cool, beautiful creatures. Take a couple of snapshots, vroom, vroom, go on through. Don't even worry about it. But some people get out of their fucking cars and try to get close to them, and they mangle people all the time. <laughs> in fact, there's a video of bison, like, tearing the door off of a car like a fucking tin can. Mm. Like, no problem, they're strong ass beasts. Have you seen that video of uh, when this family is like by a, a shit ton of lions, and then the lion is like, comes up to the car and just opens the door? Oh yeah, yeah, and, and then they just fucking take off, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, that would terrify me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, animals are, don't, 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 ha like I know don't they're beautiful. Kind of Leave them alone. Leave them alone. There's a reason why they live over there and we live over here, that's it. That's yeah. it. Also, like, Dang. zoos, man. Zoos are bad, bad I'm news. Not, I've never been. You've I'm, never been to a zoo? No, I'm not. I'm not, not in my adult thing, life, though. I haven't. Not down. There's, did you know that there, there's pros and cons to zoos? Because the cons are obviously you're, you're harnessing these animals that should be free and, and all that good stuff. Endangered and that's species? Right. But yeah, endangered species that are actually being eradicated by humans or by some other natural occurrence or something, which could be argued that that's just life and that happens and that's fine. But some animals are actually being protected in these habitats that are largely very similar to their home habitats and the places where they were born and where they roam. So a lot of these places that kind of- not. But it's not, but they're dying and humans are killing them. Like a lot of humans are killing these endangered animals. And it's so like, then take the endangered animals and take care of those animals in a habitat that's big enough for them to thrive in. Oh, I well, think we so, can't make money off of that. That's, so. that's no, true. You're absolutely right. That's oh, no, true. No, no, no. But there are those too. There are those Americans too. love coming and watching stuff. Yeah. I, we love looking at animals. Why not? Why not take a picture? Look yeah. out! Look, I was I was fifty feet away from a tiger. Yeah, like, yeah. It just we love claiming stuff. Like, yeah, it's kind of weird. Well, looking at an animal through glass is the same thing as looking at it through the internet. Through I mean, YouTube yeah, pretty video. much. It's the same. If fucking anything, thing. it's a little bit less cool. It's like mm, there's this whole layer behind me, and it's and also so sad. sad. It's sad. They Those are kind animals of sad. are so sad. Yeah, it depends. I would though. rather watch a documentary where an animal's thriving and just like murdering. Yeah, all that's the other true. Animals. I'm sure you saw that movie, it's Blackfish, so right? Sad. Oh yeah, Blackfish is fucked up. That was interesting. Well, the sea parks are a whole different, a, a different thing. Oh, that, yeah, a different that's animal. Yeah, because Bing. they make them perform. Right, well, and, the, and they keep them in tiny ass fucking places. But like, Same there thing. are <laughs> some zoos that have massive open. Like in yeah, fact, there are wild animal parks. Like in San Diego, exactly. they have the wild animal park. Exactly. But even still, it's like, why not just let them be in their home? Some of them are being protected, but you're right. You're but right. they ship them over in like trucks and. Boats I wish and I had statistics to give you, but I don't, and I'm gonna read this next question. Please do. <laughs> uh, serious Sam. Give us a made up statistic. Oh well, 39% of tigers, lions, and bears die in the wild, so we have to take those 39% and put them in zoos, idiot. <laughs> That's a good statistic. Oh, I like that makes that. so much sense. Smart yeah. science, man. Uh, serious Sam 430 says if. Life was animated. What animator's style would you like to be? Ergo, I just remember that EG means ergo. Ergo, Miyazaki, Disney, or Matt Groening. Ooh. Matt Groening is SpongeBob, right? No, Matt Groening is Simpsons. Matt Groening is Simpsons, yeah. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Ones? I mean, it's anything you want. Oh, it's for cool. sure Miyazaki. Every Miyazaki mi movie is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's a scene, I'm gonna nerd out for a second, I'm sorry. There's a scene in Spirited Away when Chihiro, the protagonist, gets on a, a train and she's going by all these, like this this ocean or this sea or whatever, and she passes by a house that's on a, on a, on a, like a island. And I think that is the most beautiful thing in the world. And I wanna live in that house if I someday become a billionaire and can buy anything. I like that. <laughs> yeah. 
That's cool. Even though it's not real. So definitely Miyazaki. You could make up a make-believe town to live in. Oh yeah. Actually the town I told you in Kiki's Delivery Service is the town that I want to live in. It's a, it's a mixture of San Francisco, Milan, and I think two other cities that Miyazaki said it's supposed to take place in a city where World War II didn't exist and they put all these cities together and it's the most amazing thing. That's, That's cool. That's where I want to live. That's that right. man is imaginative. That's one of the ones I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen you got to see delivery really service. The best, yeah. Let's watch it really? tonight, yeah. you goddamn it's idiot. Super cute. Uh, yeah, it's super cute. It's super cute. It's, I'm, I don't even know if I want to watch it in Japanese or English. Both are good. Man. Mm. Yeah, Miyazaki. Oh, damn it. I'm I kind of like again. watching them bo both ways. Like, I'll start off watching the language it was intended to be seen in mm -hmm. with subtitles, and then I'll watch Once you get tired. Didn't we do that recently? We watched We uh, watched Lupin. Lupin. The Castle oh, of Cagliostro. That movie. Cagliostro? Have you seen that? The Castle Cagliostro, I think it's pronounced? Mm -mm. That's one of my favorite movies Lupin, ever. Lupin, man. It's, Lupin's the shit. Yeah, I've never this seen that. Studio Ghibli draws these impossible places that, as a kid, I thought was real, and I'm starting to realize, oh, nowhere looks that beautiful. Life is sad, and there's pollution everywhere, and we're killing the people in Ecuador and zoos. And <sighs> you guys ever thought about how we're in our, in our very own zoo? We Every are. Every day, I think about that. Did you guys know? I read on the internet recently that there used to be human zoos, and then Hitler was like, mm, "That's a little bad." Even and, Hitler said and then it was he, bad. And then he stopped them in Germany, I think. Yeah. Wow. There used to be human zoos, so you would go and say, "Oh, look at the Africans!" Literally, it's like a little hut. And then there's a big bar around it where you could go look at the Africans. What else did they have there? That's all I saw. I'm sure it was several different oh, ones. That's terrifying. It's really interesting though. Imagine if that was your job. If you were like, you were like, okay, from eight to ten, uh, I'm, I work at the zoo. I have to clean up human shit. Yeah. <laughs> elephant shit. I guess not even. They do it themselves. I'm saying you work in the zoo. I'm the person in the zoo. Like they're like, okay, we want to see what people look like in 2015. So you just sit at your desk all day while kids in the window wave at you and go. <laughs> yeah, fuck this job. <laughs> Human zoos. You guys don't find it as funny as I do. I'm just like fascinated. I'm just there's a lot. It's to terrifying think about. to me. It's I feel terrifying. Like you're giving me a lot to think about right now. What Ugh. if we are right now in our own Human Zoo and their overlords are watching us? What if there was they a Twilight Zone episode about that? Yeah, there was. What if That's there really are people good. on the internet that we work for uh, unrealizingly? Uh, <laughs> that I is. I think if I could be in any animation though. <laughs> I think I would want to be in whoever did the movie Balto. Mm. Dog? Yeah. That, is that the same people that did like Swan Princess? Like Anastasia? Like Anastasia? Right? Anastasia? Yeah, is it Anastasia. The same people? Oh, it was a Fox because animation I don't know. studio. There's something about the way Balto. I I love that. Balto's right, look cool looking. I want to be Brito. I want to be my head on a dog. That's wonderful. Someone photoshopped oh, that for this woman, will you? I did like that cartoon, yeah. It's it pretty was, good. They always played it around the winter times. Balto was good. I'm a fan it's of a Don story. Bluth. I like Don Bluth and his Is, What's the movie about the dog that had to get the medicine for the sick kid? Oh, that's not a dog. Are what you talking it? about Secret of Men? No. Are you talking about Peter Pan with Nana? No, it was a dog. Keep describing it. Okay, there's this sick kid, really sick. Oh. <laughs> I need to get this medicine. It's 1922. We ain't got shit. <laughs> huh? What is it? Balto. That is Balto? Yeah. Penicillin. Yeah. Penicillin, yeah. Damn it, that's the same story in Secret of Nim. <laughs> Timmy's sick. The guy that's go get the medicine. Thing. But Balto is also like a bad dog, isn't he? Same. Isn't he like a ruffian? Well. Timmy fell down the well. Um. Like he's going to get this dog. Yeah, right. Balto, you want her? Balto's based that on dog's a true way story. Out of his Balto's a little tramp. Balto's a true story? Yeah. The dog talked to other people? Balto was a real <laughs> dog that rescued the, the kids. Aw. Man, right now we just fly him over some penicillin. Secret of Nim is a true story, too. I'm allergic to penicillin. Are you really? Mm-hmm. Well, what does it do, is really? Uh, I think it gives me like a rash all over I my mean, entire body. I mean, but what is penicillin for? What does it cure? It's like a... It's like a cure-all cure, type thing. It's not a cure. It's just like prevents you from getting an infection or something. Oh, that kid was almost dead as... <laughs> it's something that that every doctor, when they read it, they read it off my chart, they're like, oh, you're allergic to penicillin. Good to know. Ooh, we can't yeah, get Yeah, everything has penicillin everything, in yeah, it. Yeah, apparently. A lot of medicine has penicillin mm. in it. All right, well, too bad for you. I don't think I'm allergic to it. I don't know of anything I'm allergic to. I don't can't know either. To find out. I don't think I'm allergic to anything, to be honest. Me, I mean, we, I think you have to be. Really? Uh-huh. Is that true? Actually, I might, I have allergies. Does that mean I'm allergic to pollen? Yeah. Yeah? Damn. I don't know how true that is anymore. I don't have allergies. Oh, it's so weird. you're just perfect. My brother huh? does, though. I'm allergic to. <laughs> well, trim your beard or. What else are you allergic to? Bananas. Really? And rats. 
You're allergic to rats? Yeah, I know this because I had a pet rat named Vanessa, named after Austin Powers, Vanessa. Mm. Which, who's Vanessa? Oh, the main the, woman. The, Machine yeah. Gun Jubblies. How did you get those? Yeah, yeah <laughs> Vanessa. Mm. That's, um, uh, what's her name? Elizabeth Hurley. She was so, oh my she God, she was so hot. She super hot, wow. Yeah, so I named my rat Vanessa. That's how. That's when my parents thought I was a lesbian, too. Strange. Mm. Did you not know yet? I mean, that you like girls? I had girls. feelings down there, for oh. sure, when I saw Austin Powers. I was nine. Did I ever Me do too. You? Mike I Myers liked her. I liked her more than the other Austin Powers, Powers woman. Heather Graham? Is that her name? Oh, yeah. Heather Graham's hot too. I didn't like that one. I like the other one. Oh, I like Roller Machine Girl. Gun Jubbly. Roller Girl. Though. Roller Girl. And then Beyonce was one. How did that happen? You can't get a Beyonce yeah. in a movie these days. That's what happens when you're a popular artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you want money. She wasn't as, I mean, she, Destiny's Child popular, but not like. She wasn't popular. Beyonce. No. She's like the queen of everything now. Yeah. Anything she touches turns into magic. If we got her on this show once, we'd have 10 more seasons. Did you know they were going to make another <laughs> Austin Powers with uh, um, Paris Hilton as the main girl? Oh, no. Yeah. That no. would have been part four. I think, isn't Austin Powers kind of like the movies you want to make? Like, it's, it's yeah, a like parody. Yeah, like very spoof and weird. It's and a like... parody of James Bond. Yeah. 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 I always wanted I to make I liked the Austin Powers movies. I don't remember the third one very well, but. Gold member. That one and two were oh, good. Oh, gold. I want to get the gold. Mm, 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 my skin is feeling mm, salty. Like, you don't remember that? Mm -mm. That was such a good impression. Thank you. I, I think I only it. saw that once. Too. No, I've seen it a couple times, yeah. Not in years. I loved Fat Bastard. Fat so Bastard's much. great. And he played Arnold. Like like a vagina. <laughs> so, why, why, were we, why did they. Who, who passed this script? Who read the script and was like. Yeah, Fat Bastard, that's cool. That's totally all right. What? They, let, like, they let Eddie Murphy be clump. None of that's them were true. called Fat Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, But he was thing. a bastard. He was an asshole. The character, they made the character really evil. And then he became a sumo wrestler. He was so large. And that was Mike Myers. That was Mike Myers, yeah. Yeah, he played all of those And characters. to this day, that was Mike Myers. And to this day, a lot of people don't realize. And then he did <laughs> The Love Guru. Oh, which I haven't we're not seen. Talk about Let's that. not talk about it. Well, we could. We could talk about how terrible it is. Guys, next week we're going to do a whole episode about the Love Guru. But for now, that's the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to submit some topics into this bowl here, you can use the hashtag Table Talk or you can go to reddit.com slash r slash sourcefed. Go to that appropriate thread and talk about whatever you want in there. Maybe we'll pick out your topics. Maybe we'll throw them in the bowl. Maybe we'll talk about them. Maybe not. My kid's losing air. I'm so sorry, Will. CPR. Oh. Creedence Clearwater Revival. Oh, I love them. Me too. I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? Wait a minute, that's a good vine. So what, we need, does anyone know CCR? And they get up and they go, I, I want to know. know, have you ever that seen the rain? That is a Write good vine. Write that down. All right, I'm going to do it. Down. Make it right now. I got to do it before this airs. <laughs> Otherwise, someone else is going to do it. Hi, I'm James Richards, lead supervising animator on Pixar's Inside Out. Now, for the film, we really wanted to capture the core emotions that people feel. The human mind has the ability to feel so many feels. Shareholders, I present to you the real Ant-Man!